Hi there! I'm so thrilled that you're joining me for another Assemble This video. I'm Lisa Rana, and today's video is all about the foil and shine for a fabulous birthday card. I'm foiling two different ways that require heat with a laminator and then another way that does not require heat. I hope you'll join me for all the details on how to create the sparkling happy birthday card. I'm featuring the Hello Fresh Start stamp set from Unity Stamp Company. I just really love the spray of roses and thought they would be a great accent to this card. I have the roses in my Misty with a strip of vellum that I'm prepping with some powder. It's a powder tool and I'm going to be embossing this a little bit later. So I want to make sure that I prep that paper so things don't stick where they're not supposed to. <laughs> And I'm just going to grab my Versamark embossing ink. You can use any embossing ink that you have in your stash. Ink that up really well. And then I'm going to stamp that down. I just want to make sure I get a nice solid impression so the embossing powder will stick perfectly across that image. Next I'm just going to spread on the embossing powder and then tap the excess off. If I have anything in the wrong spot, which usually vellum is very forgiving, it'll just slide right off. I'll grab a paintbrush and just kind of brush away any of those stray embossing powders. And then I grab my scissors and just fussy cut this out. Honestly, it was really easy to do. Next, I grab some clear toner sheets from Thermoweb. This is the deco foil. I love the polka dot pattern. And then I grab some foils from Gina K to match. I love this gold pattern. It has just a hint of a star pattern into it that I just thought would be really pretty. I'm going to line that up and then just use a rotary tool to cut down my foil. This is toner reactive, so I do need to run this through a laminator. So I'm going to put the toner side down and make sure that that's on the, the silver side of the foil. Put that in a carrier sheet, and then I'm just going to run this through my laminator. I do find it really important to heat your laminator up for at least 15 to 20 minutes. It needs that heat to really penetrate through all the layers and to get that foil to really adhere nicely. So I just ran that through and then here is the peel and reveal. Gosh, it's just so pretty. I really like the transparent look of the foil against the, the acetate. I just think it's going to look really pretty on the card. I am using some Nina Solar White cardstock for this card and I'm just die cutting out a bunch of layers with that that I'm going to be using um, for this card. As always, I'll have all my supplies linked in my Dollhouse Designs YouTube channel and blog so you can check that out for any specific details. The acetate was a little bit thick, so I'm just going to take my scissors and trim this down so I get rid of any excess acetate that shouldn't be there. And that was really simple to do. Next up, I wanted the perfect pink for my background, so I grabbed this beautiful color from Distress Ink. It is the Saltwater Taffy, and I'm just blending it on to my die cut panel. I like to do this in light layers and a circular motion and each layer will just kind of build up and slowly soak into that paper and it will blend and smooth itself out. So now that I have my background all die cut and it matches perfectly to my foil die cut, I'm going to add a bit of liquid glue. Just because that adhesive is kind of slippery and it's a little bit thick, I just want to make sure that it's perfectly placed on my die cut background and that it won't um, slide around and it gets a really great adhesion. So we're just going to line that up and then I place something heavy on top like an acrylic block just to make sure it gets a really good uh, bond. Now I'm just going to finish building the card. I'm going to adhere all my layers. I have my die cut panel here 
Just going to add some tape adhesive and then glue that down onto my card front, which has a, a bit of pattern paper. For the second foiling method, I'm using the adhesive transfers for the sentiment, and these do not require a laminator. You can use your die cut machine instead. They're I picked this gorgeous foil from Unity that matches the, the one from Gina K as well. All you need to do with these is cut out your adhesive transfer designs, peel off the backing, and then place it down onto your cardstock. And I have two different designs here from the Sentiments 1 Adhesive Transfers by Unity. And I'm just going to place that in a carrier sheet and then run that through my die cut machine. Then you peel off the acetate layer. And keep that because you can foil that later if you have enough heat. And then what's left is this really sticky layer. And you just put on your foil on top of that and then close that carrier sheet and run that through your die cut machine one more time. It's really super simple and it doesn't take anything special other than a die cut machine. And I'm just going to trim these out using my scissors. The designs are fairly simple so it's easy to fussy cut. Um, my biggest tip is that when you're fussy cutting make sure that you turn the paper as you cut rather than to turn the scissors and that will create a nice smooth edge as you fussy cut around the, uh, the sentiment. Perfect. So now we'll continue adding our layers. I'm just going to adhere down the foiled die cut layer to my card base, kind of keeping the layers down to a minimum. You could pop this up if you wanted to. And that's really pretty and perfectly matted against that background. And then I'm just figuring out my placement for the flowers on the vellum. I'm going to use a bit of liquid adhesive and hide that behind the embossed lines of the image. There's a lot going on in this card, so really you can't see that liquid adhesive behind the vellum anyway. Just going to flip that over and then place that on top of my foil die cut. And there is a bit of forgiveness with that liquid adhesive, so I'm just going to slide that around and tap that in place. I just want to give that a little bit of time to adhere, so I place an acrylic block on top. Now I'm going to pop up my sentiment, and I really like the happy placement kind of down in the bottom third. And we'll just place that right there and then pop up the little birthday sentiment right below. I kind of positioned my foam adhesive and liquid glue so that it would be even with the happy sentiment. And here is the finished card. I just really love all that sparkle and shine from the different types of foiling. The background just has these little stars and then the sentiment is a perfect glitter that pops against that vellum rose spray of flowers that is just a really pretty pink and gold birthday card. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Plus if you have any questions or a sweet comment post below. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye!